Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna. As you can see here, right below the battering unboxing knife, we have the Google TV, the Logitech version, the Logitech Review. This retails for $299, got it at Best Buy. I'd like to thank the guys over there, especially Kevin, for putting it aside and making sure it was there for me when I got the Best Buy. So, very cool guys over there at the Meriden Best Buy in Connecticut. And let's open this up. If you don't tear anything here. Oh, well, had another thing. So, pretty excited about this. I've been trying to figure out if I was going to go with a Logitech review, a Google TV, or if I was going to go with something like the Apple TV or even the Roku box. But I decided on this because I saw a lot of functions uh, that it had, especially uh, now that I know, according to the Logitech blog, that it does indeed work with Comcast cable. So good news for guys like me and uh, Josh Coleman. So let's take this out and we have the keyboard, which I tried it out at Best Buy and the keys are pretty, pretty decent. As you can see, they have, it looks like they're kind of flat, but they have a good tactile feel to them. You have your trackpad. You've seen all these videos with all the controls. You have the, the mouse here. You have uh, the mute volume, TV guide and DVR. I'm gonna see how well that integrates with Comcast. Also over here you have the inputs for audio video. Uh, that's set top box TV. Uh, I'm wondering if that's the Google TV or if that's gonna be for Comcast. I guess it's all gonna be integrated together. And that's the keyboard. Let's take this out here. And here we have the actual box that I almost dropped. <laughs> I probably just broke it. That's okay. Okay, here we have, you see HDMI, that's the in. There are the IR blasters. You have to plug one of those in to work, I believe, but they have four IR blasters uh, that work with devices. Two USB ports, I guess you're gonna be able to root it or do whatever externally with uh, drives for video or audio or both. You have an ethernet jack right there, but it does come with 802.11n, so I'm gonna be using the Wi-Fi. There is the HDMI out. Now it uses it as a pass-through, I assume, with Comcast, where it will go in here and then out here from the TV, and then hopefully into the cable box. I think that's the way it would go, or the other way around, I think. Yeah, in from the cable, then out to the TV. And there you have the optical. I'm just gonna use the HDMI. And there you have the power. So, that being said, let's see what cables come with it. Because I think I have an HDMI cable, but it'd be nice if they, and they did. They included one HDMI cable with it. Also, here is the IR blaster in here, which I'm just going to set up, and also the power cord. So, we're going to set this up. Uh, some people have said that this takes a, an hour to update when you first plug it in. I hope that's not the case but we're gonna test it out and see what goes on with it. All right, I have wireless. Now, like I said, it has 802.11n. It should see my network, which I'll have to put a, a password in, which I'll probably pause it real quick and then come back. I'm hoping it sees it. Hmm, there we go. Used to navigate there. Okay, I'm gonna come back after I enter the password. Be right back. All right, there's Mikey Rhino, who's uh, witnessed the what the, about the fourth fr freeze and reboot on wireless internet setup. And what was your uh, quote Southern just now? Farmer, I wanted to be amazing, <laughs> but it's not being amazing. It's not being amazing at all. If you can't set up your wireless internet, then what's it worth? It ain't worth nothing. We're only on step four of twelve. And it's a, this is the fourth time you said it. Yeah, so it's kind of step eight, isn't it? And let's yeah. put this down here. All right, we're gonna have a wireless setup again. I'm gonna put the camera here. I just wanted to get his comments because I'm not making this up. I'm going to try this again one more time live. Scanning for network connection. Now we didn't even get this far the second or third time. The first time, it at least let me put the password in for my network. Now it's not even. It's setting up very slowly. 
Half the people have recommended the Sony, which they said this one sets up very slowly, and the other half said the Sony sets up slowly and go with the Logitech. So the hardware looks nice, the keyboard's nice, just can't get the used look. Okay, I, I sense I sense a freeze and a and a reboot. Oh. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on a second. What do we got here? I'm going to set this up. But that took way longer than, than saying Apple TV, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I mean, I, nothing I have, including Android phones, takes this long to connect. <laughs> I guess I gotta keep the camera on so it'll, it'll set up correctly. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right, this download will take 10 to 15 minutes. Ah, there we go. I guess it's supposed to, I'm hoping it's supposed to do that. Let's see. I know this is kind of boring, but at least we got to step three or five or 10, whatever. Or, or back to step two. It might be back to step two, who knows. All right, hopefully that will be part of the 10 to 15 minute software update that we're supposed to do. We'll come back if, if it doesn't freeze up again. Wait, hold on a second. Don't do anything. I just want to see. Hold on a second. Now there's no sound. I, I have the sound hooked up. I don't know why. See, I got volume. And I got it hooked up through HDMI. I suppose I got I to configure the audio, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Maybe between that or the optical. Okay, let's see if it continues to software update or if I'm back to the wireless page. If I am, I might go get a Apple TV or a Roku. <laughs> Are you all right? All right. I thought it said connect. I thought it said setting up network. I was ready to. I was okay. Ten to fifteen minutes. We'll be back. Yeah, it's Okay, we got sound and started up. Didn't have sound before, so I guess uh, hopefully from now on we will, Mike. Who knows? Who knows what the? This is what you get when you uh, buy a Rev A device. So let's see what we have with the setup. It already installed the update. Uh, it took less than 10 to 15 minutes, which is nice. So let's see what we have here. Hopefully it just sees my Comcast cable box unless I have to go in the settings. Oh, look. Oh, we're <laughs> at step five again. System updates, please. Unless it's just checking for them. It might just be checking for them. And I'm up to date. Let's see here. It moved a lot quicker last time. System is up to date. Very nice. Okay. All right, I'm going to sign in with the Google account. I'm going to do all my stuff here. Uh, let's just go through this. There's that. And I'm going to sign in. Now, the nice thing about having Google services, and I found out when I had my Android phone, when I had, see how quick that is? When I found out when I had uh, my Nexus One and using the Evo and everything, uh, it's really nice to have everything under one roof with your calendar, with your contacts, with Google Docs, all that stuff. This is Google saying that we own you, and uh, please accept, of course I will. Skynet, taking over. This is the beginning of Skynet, you realize oh, that, yeah. Mike? Okay, well. I just paid three hundred dollars to help with the end of the world. Okay, we're gonna have program information here. Now, this is gonna be good, and hopefully, it's gonna pull down my Comcast cable guide. There, now you all know where I live. Please stay out of my town. I have cable. Okay, very nice. <laughs> How cool is that? Direction. Comcast. That's awesome. All right, what do I have here for a box? Let me go down here. I have a uh, Scientific Atlanta Explorer box. All right, let me see what I have here. I have a. Uh, 8300 HD. Did you see that one? 
There it is, right there. Nice. Now this this is, thank God, as quick as a quick part of the setup. The fact that it saw the TV right away is really a good sign. Yeah. That's something that I was most worried about, and then we have sound and. What channel I see on 31. I don't think it's A and E network to you. I don't even know what channel this is. Oh, that is uh, channel 31. It's channel 31. Oh, it is the Caribbean Satellite Network. What do I know? I, oh, it's Comcast Sportsnet. All right, it's just general channels that I receive. I do not. It's kind of cool they give you little things to show if you uh, get these channels, to put them in the channel list or take them in or out of the search. Um, I do not get stars. Okay. Let's just go with done, see if I can set this up. See where it's at. Okay, Samsung. Oh God, I don't even know. All right, we're gonna put the model number and do all this stuff and come right back. Okay, we're back and as you can see, uh, basically it helped me set up my keyboard as a Harmony type remote. So I'm basically done, unless I trip over that lapel mic I got here. So let's um, let's go and see what we got here. All right, I don't have an AVR, so I'm gonna skip that step. I wish I had an AV receiver, but I do not. All right, so setup has been basically quick. They said it's 45 minutes, but so far what? We've been just 15 minutes outside of the freezing and all that junk, so we are we are set up to go. So let's check it out. Congratulations on setting up your new Logitech review. All right, shut up. Now for the first time, you can easily search and find just what you're looking for across your TV, the web. Shut up, woman. No, I will not take the steps for the tour. What we are gonna do right now is use this and we're gonna see if that uh, Let's see what we have here. Um, I have a search button somewhere here. Here's the search button in the bottom right hand corner, or left hand corner. I'm gonna search for Ghost Adventures and see it's gonna search throughout the web, search TV, web, and video. And as you can see here, I have um, stuff from my DVR, I think. Let's see here. This is uh, what I believe. Try closing other TV windows. I don't understand that. So let's go back uh, here. Let's try that again. Ghost Adventures. All right, now let's try TV, web, and video. Let's see what comes up. All right, now here's the episodes I have. Here's web videos. Here's a whole bunch of stuff. Now I have episodes here that are on my DVR. This is what I assume it is. I don't think it's on my DVR, actually. I don't have those episodes. 
Let's try this. Wow, I don't know where this is from. Mike, this is... Uh, maybe it could this be. is from TV, but I don't have these... I don't have these recorded on my DVR. So are they in the cloud? All right, now this is... Uh, Okay, now that says I got I can I can record that, but let's go back to the Stanley Hotel and let's see if I can play this. A program where I already featured, but it changed the channel for me, the travel channel. All right, let's see if I can bring up the search box. I can bring up the search box as I as I do that. So let's search for TNA wrestling. So we have her search TV web. I mean, it's pretty quick. It's over Wi-Fi, so uh, there's web videos here that I can check out. Who's that guy? How's that guy come up? And this is YouTube. This is what YouTube looks like on here, which is pretty cool. And can I control it over this way and go and browse down? Yeah, I can just use this. Together, the human network speaks to the power of collaboration. We're not just I wanted to, I can just, just pump stuff. put another. I mean, it, the, the trackpad works very well with this. So let's see how long it takes to load. I think they're loading advertisements on every one of these videos through Google TV because these don't load as as much yeah. on that. And let's see what full screen looks like. Too far. That is some sort of foreign object. Sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound. I see what doesn't do the the full full screen. You can can do escape back out of there. I know how that works. That do that. Okay. No, who's that guy? Doctor Stevie blocks out of nowhere. They look like it hurt. All right, let's search again and see what we have here. Or I'm going to see where the home button is. All right, I'm going to go back to home. Now, here's where I want to do. Now, here's where it's going to get uh, interesting. Because what we're looking at here is we have Chrome. I'm looking for settings because this is where you're supposed to be able to do Hulu. Uh, here's settings. Okay. Now, we're going to go with applications, applications list. Okay, I don't think that was it. You can do just keyboard shortcuts for the launch. I'm trying to figure out how to do the... Uh, is there anything I'm confused about would be... Well, you have all these channels here where you can use these. You have most visited. Also have a queue for that, for exploring podcasts, syncing with your Google account, and all that stuff. I wonder if it knows what podcast I listen to. Google Reader account. It's kind of cool. It's much more functional than... Uh, and Apple TV doing all this stuff. So if I wanted to put on Walt Mossberg, let's see what we have here. You can watch this, see what the video quality is going to be like. This you can fast forward it too. Missions in Windows Phone 7, especially for an operating system I can still that open up the search. has been years in the making uh, see. while watching what uh, Google and Apple have been doing. Uh, just Let's try Hulu. See if Hulu will come up. No, just Hulu. That I'm trying to search the web. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. There's the, the browser. Let's see if we can open up Hulu. There's a setting that's on Engadget that helps you. Uh, oh, here's Hulu right here. Let's see what we can. From your Google, it's not available. We're going to bring in. 
Okay. I'm just wondering, there's a setting that, where you can make it generic for Chrome. All right, it's not working. So I'll have to go to the home screen. Go here. Now it has Amazon Video On Demand. It has uh, all sorts of stuff that you can use. Now I, I haven't set up Netflix yet, but it has Netflix and Netflix is down. It looks very good. Pandora, same thing. Let's see if we can set up a Netflix account here. Let's see how it looks. All right, enter the code. We'll be right back and see what Netflix looks like. Okay, I want to show you guys something really cool I figured out here. Uh, down here the, near the directional pad, underneath the trackpad, uh, there's a record button that's also start so you can bookmark stuff, but check it out. I can actually record this program right from here. I was trying to figure out how I could do that. The other thing I'm having a little bit of trouble on, also you can bring up the guide. You can bring up your DVR. There's buttons up top that take you right there. And buttons that take you right to TV no matter where you are. Say I'm at the home screen right here. If I want to go to TV, I just hit the TV button. Brings me back to full screen on that. So, and also I can control the DVR right from the keyboard, which is pretty cool. The only thing I haven't figured out, and I just figured it out, is picture in picture. Here it is right here. So as I'm doing picture in picture, I can be tweeting while I'm doing watching NFL Network and have the sound on. So I have it right here. Now, it took a little while for me to figure it out, but all the buttons are pretty, the icons on these keys are easy to figure out once you wrap your head around everything, so. $50,000 fine, a $75,000 fine certainly gets our attention, as does possible ejections and suspensions. We get all that, but we can't. Now I gotta just go down here. Game. When a guy's got the football, I hit return, it didn't work. Time, we've gotta be aggressive. Let's see if I can. Separate him from the football. Oh, this is cool. So I'm assuming I can. Oh, no. I thought I could make the uh, Twitter page. Maybe then we see a change. I can X that out. I thought I could make the uh, the Twitter page smaller, which would have been better. I don't know if I can switch how they look, but I can go right back to the TV with the hot button there. I can go open up the guide. I can open up my DVR right there. Go to recordings, and I can scroll through and watch anything I want. And even go picture in picture if I choose there. Go back to Twitter right there, or go back to anything right here. I could actually probably video chat with somebody, Mike, while I'm watching the show. And I can surf the web or look at galleries, look at pictures. I could search whatever I want. So if I wanted to go to t4show.com, I could do that. All right, I'm starting to like it a lot. I don't know about you. So let's see how Flash runs. Okay. I run out of time on the video here. But I want to see if the flash will play. Looks like it will. Mr. President, I don't need to hear your excuses. Probably going to take a little bit of. There we go. That's pretty damn cool. So that's about it. We're going to. Oh, it's paused. Hold on a second. Why is it not playing? Oh, it's got to be in the foreground. Okay, we'll I'll take you to YouTube, too. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, that's about it. Uh, let's see if we can quit out of this, too. Quit out of that. That's about it for everybody here. It's playing in the background. Pretty cool. For everybody here at T4 Show, we'll have more videos coming up. Thank you. Best luck in all your Google TV endeavors.